In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the multi-strand version of the Matthew Walker knot. I've already demonstrated the two-stranded version, and this one can be used for any number of chords beyond that. The Matthew Walker knot is a very handy knot because you can use it to finish various braids or only to transition between different braiding styles. The most important part of the knot is to tighten it up properly, not to tie it. And I'm going to show you how I go about doing this. This is the one color version of the Matthew Walker knot. And as you can see, the cords are lined up one next to the other in a very neat way. The multicolor version does look quite nice as well. To tie this knot, we're going to take any number of cords, line them one next to the other, and then wrap our first cord around all the other cords, and then through the loop it made back into itself, you could say. We're going to take the second cord, feed it through the loop of the first cord, and then back into itself. This process reminds me of tying half hitches. The third cord goes through the loop of the first cord and then back into itself. You have to make sure that your cords are lined up one next to the other at the bottom so that the knot will not get messed up. The fourth cord, in my case the last one, Again, goes through the loop of the first chord, then back into itself. And at this point, the knot is tied, and the important process of actually tightening and adjusting this knot begins. We start off by slowly pull on each chord to remove some slack and line up our chords. You don't want to tighten it too much. This is not something you want to rush. And once you have them about this tightened, meaning that they are still quite loose, we're going to adjust the cords on the left to the cords on the right by simply taking the first one and placing it to the right. We're then going to take the next chord on the left and again place it to the right. And we keep doing this until all the chords line up one next to the other. And then we're going to slowly pull on each to remove the remaining slack out of the knot. This is something that at least I had to practice for a few times before it became intuitive. So don't give up after your first try and you're going to get this knot down. So guys, thanks for joining me in this tutorial. See you next time.